good what is it it's still morning good happy Wednesday morning to you it's Jen coming at you this morning just to encourage you to uplift you to pray with you as we go throughout our day on this day um, I've been talking to a couple of friends of mine over the past couple of days and it seems like everything that could go wrong in their day has done just that um, Something happened at work, something happened in a personal life, something happened to their transportation, something happened, you know, their finances, something, things have been happening to people and to throw them off their A game, you know what I mean? And I know that it's happened to me, you know, you get up and you got a flat tire and then you get in the car, you drive halfway, then the spare goes flat and then you get to work and some, you're not even at the right patient's house or something like that. But what I want to tell you is that the devil and his attacks are so common and they, and they happen to the best of us and what I want to remind you is that everything is working together for your good so believe it or not even though it may be frustrating even though it may be inconvenient there there's a plan the devil has a plot but remember God has a plan for what he's doing in our lives so yes it may be inconvenient and there may be a detour to get you to work late but you may have actually avoided an accident on your way to work or the system may have crashed or anything could have happened so as we realize and acknowledge that we have um, challenges in our day let's rejoice and say you know what God I don't know what it is you're keeping me from but thank you for that thank you right now that you are keeping me from me because sometimes I get in my own way and I'm my own worst enemy and if we look at Proverbs 2 chapter 2 nope that's not the truth chapter 3 verse 5 it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path and you know we hear that all the time oh yeah acknowledge God we got that we got it but we allow it to become cliche in our day-to-day -day lives so as your attacks are coming be like okay Lord I got it what is it you're trying to get my attention and have me to do or have me not do what are you keeping me from or blessing me with stop in those moments acknowledge God give him the praise and go on with your day everything will be great good morning Lynette good morning Tim um, and at this time I sometimes I pray with you guys some days I don't today I do want to pray with you um, because there's a lot of people and a lot of situations on my heart this morning um, so I'm gonna go to the Lord in prayer if you choose to pray with me great if you choose to listen that's great if you're just lurking that's cool too because guess what it's gonna touch your heart anyway so we're gonna trust God at this time and I'm gonna go to the Lord in prayer and you know what I'm praying for and with you guys Heavenly Father I come to you this morning just to say thank you Father God thank you for allowing me to see this wonderful Wednesday it is beautiful and it is the day that you have made so I will rejoice and be glad in it Father God Lord, before we ask you for anything, before we ask for anything, Lord, I thank you for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross, Father God, and not just for the sins of the world, but specifically for my sins, Lord. Thank you for accepting me in all of my dirt, in all of my issues, Father God, and still loving me when I couldn't love myself, Father God. Lord, even though you have done so much, Lord, there's so much on my heart this morning. Um, and I just ask this Jew, place a hedge of protection around our nation and the other countries throughout this world, Father God. Protect our children from these clown attacks, Father God. That is nothing but the devil, Lord. Keep them safe and give them peace. Peace to our parents and peace to our children as they go to school and we send our children away, Father God. So I just ask that you encamp your angels around these children, bring them home safely, Father God and keep all this foolishness to a minimum father god lord i pray for the families and the people in the caribbean father god who are dealing with the effects of hurricane matthew father god for we know that man does not move swift enough but i know that you have all power father god and you can go ahead and withdraw the rain and withdraw those waters so right now lord i'm just asking that you intercede on their behalf father god and dry that land up father god lord i ask that you watch over our nation and with this presidential candidacy lord you know we are choosing between bad and worse father god so whatever it is you deem fit we are going to trust that it will be okay even though it doesn't look too great right now we're going to trust you father god I ask that you watch over my friends and family, those who are traveling, those who are on their way to work, who have to commute, Father God, be with them. Go into the hospitals right now, touch those who are in need of healing, into the court system, those who need a judgment, Father God. Watch over those who are dealing with mental illness, addiction, 
Whatever it may be, Father God, I just ask that right now you give them comfort, give them peace, and let them know that you have not left them nor forsake them. For you are not a man that you should lie. And you said, I would never leave you nor forsake you. And we are standing on that right now, Father God. For you are amazing and everything you do is already ordained, Father God. So why should we worry? You already paid the price and the ultimate penalty. So there is no way that you would leave us now, Father God. And for that, we thank you. We lift up your holy name. We magnify your kingdom. And Lord, we give you the highest praise. In your precious and holy son, Jesus' name, I pray, ask these and all blessings. Amen. You guys have a fantastic day. It's about that time for me to go harass my parents. Um, my dad left his truck unlocked, so I'm going in there to mess with that, see if he comes outside. You guys have a great day. I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.